This is uh, Chris Chopic at uh, Green Building Festival, IDEX, uh, talking to Jeremy Rifkin. Uh, Jeremy, um, you've got a lot of uh, uh, what I say we call uh, comprehensive big picture thinking about uh, the future of humanity. How's that going to come down to the ground here at IDEX in your talk? Well, you know, uh, we're in real trouble right now in the world. The, the second industrial revolution sunset. Coal oil, natural gas, those are old energies. The prices are going up. They're never going down. Now we have real-time climate change because of those energies which are imperiling the human race. The whole infrastructure of a civilization based on these energies is on my support. We need to move to a new third industrial revolution. And the great economic revolutions occur when new energy regimes emerge, and they combine with new communication revolutions to manage them. When that happens, we create new opportunities for society. Uh, I advise the European Union, the, the, the lead economy in the world. And we have developed a third industrial revolution economic plan. I was privileged to do that. It's based on five pillars that have to be laid down simultaneously to create a new economic revolution. Pillar one, the EU is committed to 20% renewable energy in the next 10 years. It's a third of the electricity of Europe. Pillar two, we envision 191 million existing buildings in Europe being transformed into power plants, homes, offices, factories, so that people can generate their own energy on site through the sun, the wind on the walls, the heat under the ground, etc. And that, we think, will jumpstart an economic building boom with millions of jobs in Europe. Pillar three, we're setting up hydrogen stores to store these energies because the sun isn't always shining and the wind isn't always blowing. So hydrogen stores intermittent renewable energies. And in Europe, we've committed 8 billion euros to hydrogen. Pillar four is where the communication energy comes in. We're going to take internet communication technologies, which is distributed, and converge it with renewable energies which are distributed. So when internet communication starts to organize distributed renewable energies, we have a third industrial revolution. So when 190 million buildings in Europe are, are putting together their own energy on site, storing it with hydrogen like you store digital and media, then what they don't need, any given time of day, a building can share their energy across the continent. That's uh, distributed power. That's pillar four. Pillar five is electric transport. Electric plug-in vehicles are coming out next year, fuel cell vehicles two years later, and they'll be able to connect back to the grid and store energy and sell energy. So we're moving to what we call distributed capitalism, or we could call it distributed cooperativism, where for a generation that grew up on the Internet, and they choose to generate their own information and sharing it across social commons in cyberspace, now we have the technology that allows us to do the same thing with energy, and that is to generate our own energy and share it across continents on, and integrates. This will create a powerful third industrial revolution. It's the democratization of energy. It's actually power to the people. And I think for this younger generation, uh, this is the challenge and opportunity to get us to a post-carbon society very, very quickly to mitigate climate change and create a sustainable world. One of the things that, uh, that excites me about your work is the possibility that uh, we can actually solve these problems. What you've just discussed seemed to me uh, policy and infrastructure uh, problems that are being addressed. Yes. Uh, talk to me about uh, how uh, building and uh, infrastructure relate to uh, compassion between people, empathy. It's all about infrastructure. The five pillars I've laid out have to be laid out simultaneously. They're one system. They're like a living system. If you do them each as a pilot in silo, they don't optimize their value and you end up getting nowhere. So you have to lay down the whole infrastructure once, the renewable energies, the buildings converted to power plants, hydrogen to store those energies, smart grids to distribute them, electric plug-in vehicles for logistics. And when we do that, we may be able to develop bios for consciousness. Because when everyone's responsible for our little small part of the biosphere where we live, and we're harnessing the Earth's energies, renewable energies, but then we have to share them collaboratively across entire continents, we start to become aware that we're as connected in the energy flows of this biosphere as we're connected in the social spaces on the Internet. So when that Internet technology comes together with renewable energies, we begin to think that we're completely connected, interdependent, we collaborate with each other to steward the energy of the planet. It's very lateral and flat and distributed. It's not centralized and top-down. It creates a completely different shift in social relations on this earth. It may get us to bios for consciousness, the ability to realize we're all in this together, we're part of an indivisible community made up with the rest of life, we live in one biosphere. Thanks for making the journey here to Toronto, and IDEX really... Uh